Hey guys, and welcome back to the Do It Yourself Car Mod segment. Alright guys, so as you can tell by the title of this video, I am going to be installing foot pedals inside of my 2017 Hyundai Veloster. So pretty much what I am going to be doing is swapping out the current rubber pedals and putting in aluminum pedals. So let's hop on inside and get started. So the materials that you are going to need for this modification actually aren't that many at all. So of course you are going to need your pedals that you are going to be putting on your Veloster or your vehicle. I'm going to put a link to where I got these aluminum pedals from in the description box below. Here goes my accelerator and then right here is my brake pad. And I'm also going to be installing this right here. This is a aluminum dead pedal. It is going to go over my current dead pedal. So that is definitely going to be pretty interesting. Now your optional materials that you will need for this installation will be a auto trim removal kit. I am going to put a link in the description box below to this as well. It was relatively inexpensive and it should help me with removing the brake pad. You're also going to need a cleaner of some sort, a multi-surface cleaner. And of course, you will need a microfiber cloth to help you clean that surface. All right, guys, so here goes what my current pedals look like. I have my accelerator right there, my brake pad, and then my dead pedal right over here. And as you can tell, they are all a rubberized material. All right, so the first one that I want to install is actually going to be the accelerator right over here. And that's because it is the easiest, I believe, between all three of them. Now, of course, all pedals are different on all vehicles, but on my 2017 Hyundai Veloster it's actually relatively simplistic especially the one that I chose to purchase let me slide this out of here and you pretty much will see that it is going to hold on with these portions and you just slide it in right into this opening right there so let's go ahead and do that all right and there we go literally that is it Maybe it took me at most about five seconds. You just put it on, slide it right on, and there you go. You have your beautiful looking aluminum accelerator. All right, so now let's go over here to our brake pad. Now this one's going to be a little bit more difficult and that's because we actually had to remove this current brake pad to put on the new one. So to remove this, all you have to do is reach underneath your current pad and just pull it back like this and it's just going to actually come off really easily it just popped right off you can see how dirty this is but now it's going to be a bare metal surface right here and on the back of the aluminum pedal looks rather similar to the oem version and the rubber seems to be a little bit more firm so let's just go ahead and see how easy this goes on you really have to pull back the rubber it's very difficult to put on but I just got it on actually not that bad maybe it took me about 30 seconds not too bad at all obviously not as easy as the accelerator but was relatively simplistic nonetheless all right so looking at the dead pedal as you can tell it is pretty dirty over there so I am going to have to clean up my dead pedal so that the adhesive backing on my aluminum dead pedal will be able to stick over there so let me go ahead and get my multi-surface cleaner and my microfiber towel So now that I just cleaned the surface, I am going to make sure it's as dry as possible. So I'm gonna use the dry portion of my cloth so that it's not wet. All right. So now that that is dry, let's go ahead and get our aluminum dead pedal. All right, so let's peel off the back here. And let's stick it right into place. All right, there we go. We have the new set of aluminum pedals 
inside of my vehicle. I feel like they look absolutely incredible. It definitely makes this vehicle just look so much more sporty. And I really like how these aluminum accents really complement all of the silver trim going on inside of my car to begin with. You can see all the silver accents and trim and everything. And these pedals just help pull everything together. Well, that's it for this do-it-yourself car mods episode. Comment and tell me what you would like to see in future videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. This is Marcus, and thanks for watching Drive and Be Driven. Keep it positive, and I'll see you next time. You can become a Drive and Be Driven driver today. Just simply click the subscribe button, and you will become a part of the Drive and Be Driven circle. Subscribing will allow you to stay up to date with the Drive and Be Driven YouTube channel. Thank you to all of my current Drive and Be Driven drivers for driving me towards my goals and dreams. Stay subscribed for more awesome videos like this one.